Louise Elman Jewish labor movement. I think it, it must now be absolutely obvious to everybody that labor's racism against Jewish people, anti-Semitism, was the key reason for labor to become so toxic at the last general election. Um, I find this situation extremely traumatic, but that is the truth, and the truth has to be faced. I'd like to congratulate the board for taking the initiative in publishing its 10 pledges uh, to Labour candidates and to the Labour Party generally. It is absolutely vital that as leaders of the Jewish community, we do not let this go. This is an issue not just for the Jewish community, it's an issue for the whole of our society. And as we've seen the deluge of vitriol against the Board of Deputies for those pledges, um, alleging all kinds of collusion with other political parties and other anti-Semitic statements, it just reinforces the nature of the problem. But I just like to say that this is just the beginning it is not the end. Um, I note that most of the Labour leadership candidates, indeed I think all of those, and most of the deputy candidates have actually pledged that they will support um, these requirements. But that is only the beginning. Um, Anti-Semitism is not just in the leadership of the party because of the leadership's failure to deal with it and indeed, in my view, to propagate anti-Semitism during the time Jeremy Corbyn has been leader of the Labour Party. Anti-Semitism is not just within the leadership itself. Um, it infects much of the party and certainly most of the National Executive Committee is uh, composed of Corbyn supporters and we must not forget the trade union movement and specifically the statements of Len McCluskey, the General Secretary of UNITE, who claimed that anti-Semitism, allegations of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party were simply a smear against the leadership and I think he called it mood music. And I have never seen that refuted. I have not heard him issue one statement of retraction or regret. So we're not just talking about the leadership, we're talking about the whole of the party and significant parts of the movement. And I just like to say again, thank you for doing this, it's the right thing to do, but what other plans do we have and how is it going to be organized in future that the, the board can work with other uh, institutions across the community as we did on that vital demonstration, enough is enough, which I think was another key point, to really show that the community has not just finished its business, indeed we're starting again. The whole of society has now seen the toxic toxicity of the Labour Party in relation to its anti-Jewish racism. It now has to be dealt with, I think most people recognise as a problem. How are we going to proceed with this? It is a vital issue for the Jewish community, yes, but for the whole of our society. Racism against anybody must be unacceptable in British society.